गुड मॉर्निंग एंड अ वॉम वेलकम आई एम प्रतोष शर्मा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग न्यूज फ्लैश Israel expressed gratitude to India for its support calling it a vital partner and potential voice of reason in the region. This follows an Iranian missile attack last week in retaliation for Israel's action in Lebanon which caused no casualties. The BJP secured 8 of the 11 seats with wide margin in Jammu and Kashmir assembly elections standing second with 29 seats overall. The National Conference led with 42 seats while the Congress, PDP and other smaller parties also won a few seats each. The ICC is exploring shifting the Champions Trophy from Pakistan to a neutral venue amid safety concerns raised by the BCCI. Reports suggest Dubai could co-host though no official decision has been made. A Syrian refugee and his 11-month-old son were attacked with a corrosive substance in West Delhi. The family has been living outside the UNHCR office after losing their home and receiving no aid from the UN agency. The CBI has presented strong evidence against Sanjay Roy in the rape and murder of a 31-year-old trainee doctor. The charge sheet includes material, technical, and scientific evidence. Kerala High Court dismissed a case against a man for accusing a Muslim woman of violating Sharia law by shaking hands with the adult male ruling that no religious belief is above the constitution. PM Modi accused Congress of dividing society and using Muslims as a vote bank celebrating BJP's recent victory in Haryana by laying the foundation stone for developmental projects worth rupees 7600 crores. At least 60 doctors from Calcutta Medical College resigned in solidarity with those from RJ Gan Medical College where doctors had also resigned following the rape and murder of a colleague. After strong protest from Nagaland CM Nephew Rio, a UK auction house withdrew a human skull from its sale which had caused outrage in India. A Vistara flight from London to Delhi was hit by a bomb threat when a note was discovered in the restroom causing panic among passengers. Ratan Tata, the chairman of Tata Sons, passed away on Wednesday at the age of 86. He was undergoing treatment in critical condition at Mumbai's Breach Candy Hospital. India has sealed a mega defense deal with the US including advanced nuclear submarines and predator drones aimed at enhancing its maritime security. Hurricane Milton, one of the most intense Atlantic storms on record, is expected to hit Florida's Gulf Coast, leading to mass evacuations and fuel shortages. US President Biden and Israeli PM Netanyahu are set to discuss Israel's possible response to Iran's missile attack as tensions remain high in the Middle East. North Korea announced it's permanently shut its southern border with South Korea, cutting off all potential travel routes, escalating tensions with both Seoul and the US. Japanese PM Shigeru Ishiba dissolved parliament ahead of a snap elections on October 27th, banking on his popularity and a fragmented opposition for victory. Americans David Baker and John Chipper along with Britain Thames Hazabis won the Nobel Prize for breakthroughs in predictive protein structures using AI with wide applications in medicine and technology. That's all for the headlines of the day. For more updates download the app and keep watching the talk.